Familiarity is a wonderful thing. It helps you build trust with people with motorcycles. And the TUS Apache RTR 162V stands as a testimony to that. It's been around for over 15 years now and with big little upgrades. And TUS has been making this because there is enough demand alongside the Apache RTR 164V. So the question isn't if this is a good bike or not. The question is, is it still relevant in 2023? Hello and welcome to HD Auto. My name is Samir Contractor and let's get riding. The TVS Apache RTR 162V brings back dollops of nostalgia packed in a slightly more modern package. We say slightly because it's still the same frame and design with subtle upgrades. The new bits include the LED headlamp with LED DRLs that bring more modernity to the face, while the redesigned LED tail light adds a fresh look as well. There are new sporty graphics running across the fuel tank that also bring a refreshed look to the motorcycle. TVS has also wrapped the rear wheel with a fatter 120x70 section TVS Remora rear tyre that not only adds more heft to the looks but aids in handling too. Overall, it's a familiar design that has aged well. However, quality levels feel a bit subpar by today's standards. The plastics feel flimsy in some places while the overall profile does look a bit too basic. TBS has also equipped the updated Apache RTR 162V with a digital console. The unit is a direct lift from the Apache RTR 164V and comes with Bluetooth connectivity. The feature-loaded console brings turn-by-turn navigation, call and SMS alerts, lean angle mode, race telemetry, lap timer and more. The new set of features just add more years to the Apache RTR 162V, which will not feel like a compromise to newer buyers anymore. The Apache 162V is compact and there's no changing that on the latest iteration. The bike will feel uncomfortable almost immediately for taller riders, while shorter riders will find the ergonomics more welcoming. With a 1300mm long wheelbase, the compact proportions make it a squeeze for the rider and pillion with limited legroom on offer. Nevertheless, the performance feels brilliant as good as it did all those years ago. The 160cc single cylinder engine is the same but upgraded to now make 15.8 brake horsepower while peak torque is marginally down to 13.8 Nm. Now the TVS Apache RTR 162V in its latest iteration is about 2 kilograms lighter. So low end acceleration is actually quite nice. Uh, you get strong linear power delivery through the rev range and you can climb speeds rather quickly. This bike is quick off the line and quite fun like that. One of the most familiar bits about the Apache that's actually quite likeable. Now the top end power though is where there are certain problems. Well, for one, you do reach quickly to triple digit speeds, but sustaining them is a big problem because of the refinement of the engine. Vibrations are plenty on the foot pegs, on the handlebar, and that means you can sustain those speeds for a long time. But when it comes to mid-range, that's very impressive. So for those wanting to ride this in the city, this is an apt choice. The fact that you get a single seat also makes it quite comfortable for the rider and pillion, and the overall stance is quite comfortable as well. What I would like though is more refinement at the top end for those really wanting to seek out performance. The aggressive nature of the TVS Apache RTR 162V makes it incredibly fun even today and there are now three riding modes to further enhance that experience. Power in the rain mode is restricted limiting the top speed while the urban and sport modes allow you to use all those horses more freely. Switching between the riding modes doesn't bring a world of a difference though. And we found ourselves 
sticking to the sport mode for most of our test ride. That said, the modes will make a difference in the fuel economy of the motorcycle with the urban mode optimized for the best of both power and efficiency. The handling is where the Apache RTR 162V starts to show its age. While the short wheelbase makes it easy to maneuver in the city, the handling isn't as taut as some of its rivals. The simpler telescopic front forks and gas-charged twin shock absorbers at the rear are softly sprung. It tends to bottom out more frequently, restricting your cornering ability as well as compromising on the right quality. While soft road undulations are easy to glide over, the bike feels nervous over bigger potholes. The Apache gets dual disc brakes with single-channel ABS and braking performance is progressive and works rather well. It doesn't matter what I say about the Apache RTR 162V. If you want one, you will actually go out and buy one and that's exactly what people have been doing. It's quick, efficient and affordable. And that's exactly the kind of familiarity buyers want with this Apache. The value additions now are great. The LED headlamp, Bluetooth connectivity with a digital console, riding modes, all are great features to have. But the greys are showing. The handling isn't as sharp as it's supposed to be. The refinement from the engine could be better and the top end has lots of vibrations. So yes, it may not be as perfect as a product as it should be. And that's exactly why I would recommend you get the Apache 164V if you're looking for something quick, modern and fast. That's a model that gives you all of that and maybe will stay longer in your garage. But the Apache RTR 162V, well, this one is just the right pricing and has lots and lots of familiarity with it. And at that entry level price works really, really well. Prices for the 2023 TVS Apache RTR 162V start at 1,18,000 rupees for the rear drum brake version, going up to 1,25,000 rupees for the disc brake version with Bluetooth connectivity. All prices are ex showroom Delhi. This brings it quite close to the Apache RTR 164V that's priced from 1,22,000 rupees to 1,30,000 rupees. The Apache RTR 162V then appeals to those who want a no-nonsense motorcycle that is relatable and fun. And that's the factor which has helped the motorcycle age so well. So if you are an entry-level buyer looking for something tried and tested, the Apache 162V works really well. And this familiarity makes it a good contender in the segment even in 2023. So, as we always say, please wear your helmets on the motorcycle, seat belts in the car. My name is Samir Contractor. This is HT Auto. Thank you for watching.